Well, mesenteric anatomy is basically the, the blood vessels that go to the gastrointestinal tract to travel through a structure called the mesentery. And the anatomy of the mesentery has been inaccurately described over the last 100 years. And that's been perpetuated and indoctrinated in all anatomic, uh, embryologic, and uh, surgical and radiologic texts. In the last three years, we've managed to actually show that's entirely simpler than what was previously thought. And we've managed to refute what was uh, inaccurate uh, and entirely uh, change the manner in which we're thinking about the mesentery and the structures that are around it. Uh, so that has an impact then, obviously, for surgery, for the safe management of patients, for the training of individuals who are going to conduct surgery. It has a massive impact in terms of radiologists and how radiologists will actually perceive the uh, abdomen on CAT scans, MRI scans, etc. It has an impact from a path pathology perspective insofar as we can now better stage all abdominal diseases because we have a better understanding of the structure of uh, the organs involved. And it also has an impact on uh, oncologists who can then treat uh, patients with cancer, for example, because they've been better staged because we now have a, an improved understanding of the structure. This will vastly uh, improve uh, the experience for the patient in the first instance. Uh, we frequently conduct laparoscopic surgery now based on the anatomic principles that we've developed with m absolute minimal amounts of blood loss. Uh, and that's fantastic in an area that was previously noted for uh, blood loss. And again, in UL and UHL, we've developed approaches where we can minimize blood loss down to uh, less than 50 mils uh, in major abdominal surgery. Uh, that helps the patient enormously. We, the patients recover a lot quicker, a lot faster. They can be discharged faster. They recover daily function faster. They get back to work faster. Uh, and overall, that experience is improved. From a training perspective, we've made colorectal surgery safer because uh, as a result of this clarified, simplified uh, appreciation of the anatomy of the ab ab abdomen and the gastrointestinal tract, trainees can now conduct colorectal surgery, can learn how to do it a lot quicker and a lot better and are a lot more efficient and safe as a result. So it has had impact uh, at numerous uh, levels from training to service delivery and also uh, to uh, the treatment of patients individually. Well, we've combined, multiple, uh, we've combined multiple different investigatory tools. Uh, and using multiple different investigatory tools, we've identified the actual shape of this particular structure. And by providing a, a clarification of shape and structure, you can then di differentiate it from abnormality, i.e. disease. And um, a better understanding of shape of disease then permits you to actually identify what's abnormal in disease and mechanisms of disease. So a perfect example of that would be Crohn's disease. Uh, and because we now have a better, improved understanding of the gastrointestinal tract anatomy, we have, uh, in, as a result, a better understanding of how the associated mesentery affects the bowel in an abnormal manner. And we've been able to make inroads and, in, again, developing biomarkers of outcomes for patients with Crohn's disease based on these subtle differences.